y'all welcome back to my channel on behalf of Brit. if you're new here welcome i'm Brittany, and today's vlog is a day in the life of a braider vlog today's vlog is gonna be a little bit different than most of my braider vlogs because y'all ain't gonna see me do any hair it's gonna be just a vlog of me getting this room together so an organization video i went to beauty master and they had this really really good sale for the month of july i don't know what i did with that sales paper i had it out but i think i moved it I'm gonna go back to Beauty Master, shop the sale one more time, and I'm gonna go harder than I did the first time. So I'm gonna buy a bunch more stuff. Of course, I'm gonna do a hair store haul. But before I leave, I wanna clean this room because I'm finding that the more I'm bringing in here, the more the room is getting cluttered and I just keep neglecting and throwing out old stuff and organizing what I have first before I bring new stuff in. So we're gonna deep clean this room. I'm gonna show y'all around the room to show y'all what it's looking like. I have clients tomorrow booked and one of my clients is very, very, very irritated to synthetic braiding hair. So anytime I braid her hair, she wants it pre-rinsed. And so while I'm in Beauty Master, I need to grab her hair so that I can come back later today and rinse her hair. So I'll show y'all how I do that. But I finally got a snack cart. I wanna be able to put together a real cute concession stand. Not even concession because it's gonna be complimentary. Um, so my clients won't be paying for this stuff, but cookies, chips, water bottles, snacks. I wanna put together like a snack area, a snack bar for my clients something simple but go to go with my room so I'll show y'all that we're about to build that now let's get into it so first things first the floor needs to be swept the mats do and the carpet needs to be vacuumed yeah why you want to chirp you're the problem she eats real messy y'all and then just walking through here daily anything she leaves carries throughout the floor so that needs to happen today. Dusting the shelves. We talked about this weeks ago that I ended up going on my little birthday hiatus. So all of that needs to be dusted. I have these storage bins that I got from Walmart. I thought that would be a really cute addition to the shelves just because the room is giving girly, pink, gold, all of that. And the shelves have a combination of colors going on. So I wanted to add something to the shelves that would tie in with the rest of the room. These were at Walmart for $5 a piece. I only got two because I still like the way some of my stuff is displayed. Like my scrunchie collection. Love that. Gotta have that out. I gotta take these out of the packaging and add those to the container. But there are certain things that don't need to be seen. It's not an everyday thing that I'm taking kid clients, so the beads don't necessarily have to be out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to let that image go, but I'm considering putting the beads in a bin, but just certain things. So the top two shelves will be display areas. The middle will be for cubbies. Of course, my combs have to be accessible, so those won't go in a cubby, but certain things will. And then the bottom two will be another display area, but I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna do it after I dust all of this stuff off. I told y'all we're heading to Beauty Master, so once I come back with all of my things, I'll show y'all everything that I've added since I went to the last sale. I'll show y'all everything that I'm adding today once I go to the sale one more time. And then we'll finally display all of the products that I've been hoarding and haven't put away, as well as the ones that I get today. Here's the snack cart. I've already taken things out. So we have to build our little golden snack cart and I already have snacks, well, treats, as well as I pulled out some containers from my basement to start storing the treats in. So far, these at Walmart were a steal. These are the Albany's gummy bears. You get 50 mini packs. I don't know how many come in a pack, but you get 50 packs and they were $9. I thought this was really dope because the Albanese brand is a little more expensive than Haribo because they are gluten-free, fat-free, sugar-free. Like they're just more of an organic brand. So I have these as well as this multi-pack. This has 
hard jolly ranchers gummy jolly ranchers which i've never tried that's the main reason why i got them because i was interested in the gummies and then twizzler nibs which are for my more seasoned adults who aren't crazy about sugar but may but may not mind nibbling on some licorice so they have the green apple jolly ranchers displayed but every flavor is in this pack and then they only have the blue raspberry gummies displayed but every flavor is in this pack like i don't know if you can see that but that's a great part one right there oh yeah i want to get one more pack of candy which i'm thinking chocolate of course like a combination pack of reese's twix snickers something like that walmart's price for that they did have it it just seems super expensive so i'm gonna check other stores if not we'll circle back to walmart then of course we'll do chips this is what's left from like that 40 case box that i brought a couple weeks ago that y'all seen in one vlog i only have maybe 15 packs left so we got to go get some more chips but we'll get the snack cart together and deep clean this room and go from there i want to try to decide the permanent home for my new hair dryer this was a birthday gift from my friend danielle thanks again danielle for my dryer this one down here to me was dated. I've had it for years and years and years. And in one of my recent vlogs, I mentioned that it was dated and I wanted more of a mobile modern dryer. And Danielle had one that she was not using. So she gave it to me. It was gently used. It still works perfectly. Right now, that's where that's been. As far as updates on this room, since the last time I walked y'all around it, one of my newest additions to the room is this Hello Gorgeous sign. I think it is so pretty. And then this pink rug. Now listen, when it comes to decorating these rooms, it's all about trial and error. Some of this stuff I have to see in my room. I just have to try it out before I let the idea go in my head. I told y'all in the room when I first did like a room tour and I started putting decor in this room that I really wanted a rug, but I didn't know how it would tie in with the fact that I like to protect my carpet with mats. So I ended up getting a rug. It's a nice size. It's perfect, actually, if I decide to keep it as far as the size. It was $15.99, so I will link it down below. They had a bunch of different colors. So if you're looking for an area rug, it was vacuum sealed. That's why I have it just thrown over here in the corner. It's not going to live over here permanently. It was just vacuum sealed, like real tight, real flat smack down. So I put it over here, but I want to take a blow dryer and kind of fluff it all the way out but it's gonna be front and center of the room. So the mats are gonna be back here somewhere. I'll be styling here a little further back from the TV. But I want the newest, the latest and the greatest for my clients. I feel like they deserve the best. So I have a gold TV stand coming and it's a little taller. So the TV will sit up higher since I decided not to mount the TV. So when that comes, we'll build that, put the TV up higher. It also has built-in shelf. If there's anything else that I ordered and I forgot about, I'll mention it later. But as for right now, waiting on a TV console, once that's set up, the rug will be moved. If I get the rug over there and I decide that it's just not necessary for this room, I just needed to see it, we'll return. Hopefully the console comes within 30 days because Amazon only gives you a 30-day period to return stuff. So hopefully the console comes, we can set that up and try them rug out in a different area to see if i like it i want to go ahead and clean up now that way when i come in and bring in more junk from the hair store the room will already be organized and i can just go in and just put my stuff away and just continue the process of keeping everything clean i'm gonna build the snack cart first and while i work we're gonna do a riri ride out it's only right <laughs> It's looking like a whole lot of work. Love this song. Don't worry, I'ma meet you. I like it, baby. I had to pause the music for a second so y'all can see how freaking microscopic 
these gummy bears are. What? You get all 12 flavors in the pack, but baby, who is this for? This is a snack cart. I like it, but I don't love it. Like the gold color goes well with the other gold items I have in my room. I also love that it has three shelves. What I hate about it is the height. I don't even know if it's going to pick up on camera, but it's very short. Um, my clients are literally going to have to bend down, like bend their back to get what they want off of it. It's very short. Like, look at everything else next to it. I may do like a couple of floating shelves with a few extra things, but we'll see. Um, as far as the containers, I like this one on here. I'm not sure how I like the gold basket, but we'll see. I have to go out and get more Rice Krispies and granola, but for now, that's what's going to be in that container. Second row is going to be for chips. I have out what I had left for right now, and then I'll just refill them weekly, daily as they go away. And then the bottom shelf is empty. That's going to be for water bottles. I got to get some water bottles, but I already put like the flavoring in there. So I'm sure somebody is going to put that in their water, mainly my kid clients, but yeah. So far, so good. It didn't take long to set up. The setup was very easy, but now we gotta attack this girl. In this first cubby, I'm gonna go ahead and put the thread in here just because I don't do sew-ins that often. This is not something I have to have on display. I may do a sew-in once a month. In 30 days, I may have one person and that's a strong maybe. So that goes in there. Spray bottle. This is full of scrunchies. I'm gonna also put this in here only because I already have a scrunchie display. I don't need two out. I'm not gonna go through that many scrunchies every day. So I'm gonna hide that. And if I want it, I can always get to it. Same goes for this one. This is full of scrunchies as well. And we have our first cup. Let's go ahead and build our other one. Push that in. Sectioning tools I do touch every day, but I lost the lid to this one. It doesn't look as pleasing as this one does. So I'll be reaching in for this. It's nothing just to pull it out. Y'all see how quick that is. The scrunchies, we'll go ahead and put that over here. Tools. This is a comb spray bottle detangler thing for when I use curly weed. That's not an everyday thing that can go in here. These two trays right here, I'm gonna pull out because I'm gonna use them to organize my braid bestie a little bit better. Right now, a lot of stuff is just tossed in the braid bestie. If I have all of my organization equipment over here, it leaves the best, the braid, it leaves the braid bestie in shambles. So we are gonna fix that up. I really like this cute little bobby pins jar, but again, I don't touch them. So whenever I need them, I'll go in there for them. This, I just love so much. I want to continue to display it. So whenever I finish setting up my comb area, I always put this in the front of my combs. This container holds my thread, needles, clips, different things for sew-ins and also crochet stuff. Don't use this every day. Put this in here. And when I do need it, I'll pull it out. I decided I do want to leave this out in display. I just think it's so cute. But I don't want both of them out. So we're going to put this one away. And that completely fills this one. So nothing else can go in here. In case you're wondering, this jar right here holds braid accessories. They're not as popular as they used to be. But whenever my clients do want any clamps or jewels added to their braids, that's what's in here. Have another. Have a couple of loose combs that were laying around. When I go to the hair store, I gotta remember to fill this bucket. I'm down to two oils. My clients have to have their scalp oil. So we need to fill that bucket. This is for needles, locking tools, like my locking prongs, crochet latch hooks, edge brushes. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this little basket out. I'm gonna keep it out. Go ahead and dump these out in here. Put these in their new home. If they'll come off the Definitely didn't need two containers of scrunchies. 
on display. Got that. Or should I do oils and snatches and put all of my tools on one side? Yeah. So we'll leave the scrunchies here. We'll fill this up with oils later. And then crochet hooks, combs, all of that. This is the hair clamps, the brush to brush off dandruff when I trim hair, a bead section. That is a lot to look at. So we're gonna leave that be. Then we're gonna work our way down to products. Never continued vlogging the cleanup, but this is how the shelves look before. I'm about to run out to that sale and restock on some more things. A lot of the stuff that y'all seen me get last time I went are either in my travel bag or, or gone. I've already went through that stuff and it's been a couple weeks, so. I use some Lysol wipes to wipe off the dust and I'm still seeing stuff in the corner, so I'm gonna have to re-wipe it. I mean, it's shining a little bit. You can see the reflection of the spray bottle. Before you couldn't see none of that. It was straight white, straight dust. It's a little shinier, but I need to wipe it off one more time. Over here, I have the majority of my combs. Some of them are on my braid bestie and another bunch of them are in my car and in my bathroom. But this is combs. The second one is random products. This left corner is all of my Jamaican mango and lime stuff. It's almost time for a restock on this stuff. And um, when I do get mango and lime stuff, it normally lasts for months because my locked clients are far in between. I may have four or five locked clients to come within a month. So their stuff normally lasts me a good little while. The second row will be for BTL. Um, I'm not really crazy about their braiding gel, but they do have other products that I like. So it may not be today that I buy any of their products, but if I do within the next few weeks, months, whatever, this will be a little small strip for BTL. I'm going to have a double row of Vigoral. I'm going to stock up on that real heavy today. I only have three containers left from my last situation. And then this back corner is all edge controls. I have Shining Gem, Edge Fixer, and then the Guapale, whatever one that I discovered in my last braid of vlog. This shelf right here is all going to be for braiding gels. So from this corner over, I want to do Shining Gem. This corner over here is random stuff that I tried. This is the Kiss Colors and Care when JT partnered with Kiss and did her collab. I think I brought three containers of this and I have one left. I wasn't crazy about it, but this one I haven't used yet. So until I use it, it'll be there. This is the Style Fixer Braiding Gel from the Edge Fixer, the Kiss line as well. Same person that makes this made that. And then the Guapale braid gel that goes with that edge control. This bottom one is oil sheens, got to be spray. got some random shampoo in the bag. And then I have Kaleidoscope products. Um, I have the Platinum Shine oil sheen. And I also have the What You Like braid wash. This is an apple cider vinegar wash to wash your hair. This bucket is random. I have my hot tools, so flat irons, hot combs, crimp irons, and then I have my kettle in which I boil the water to dip my clients in. This can go in a cubby. These are wig caps for funnels, quick weaves, whatever. It's like a six pack. I got it off sheet in. I'll link it down below, but that doesn't have to be on display. And yeah, we're about to run to the hair store and I'll show y'all everything when I get back. And I don't know why I just walked in here, y'all, without no cart. Because I <laughs> I need to get a cart for this stuff. But yeah, y'all, the sale is ridiculous. Why are they selling basketballs in the hair store? Somebody please make it make sense. Please. Oh, this ocean wave is dumb pretty. This is cute. I don't know how I feel about this texture. But the curl pattern itself is so cute. This Caribbean curl for a boho style okay yeah so i took a picture of that so that i don't forget that that exists when i'm figuring out my vacation here i'm in here for rua so i'm about to grab three packs of this and then go home and rinse it nadia's natural hair color is a number two she's getting jumbo knotless three packs will do it 90s babies y'all remember just for me at one point it was just the box perm they got a whole line of products for kids, of course. But this would be cute. Back to school season once again. I'm about to go up and down the aisles discovering stuff. This is called Diva. Why is it $3? I don't even want to play like that. $2.99 for some shampoo. Unheard of. We got the goat, Blue Magic. I might grab some Blue Magic, honestly. 
some of my clients really respond well to that. I'm thinking about that Indian hemp or either the argan oil with this herbal complex. It has a leave, oh, it's a leave-in, it's not grease. It's so many options. This is wheat germ oil and coconut oil. Child. Ooh, a mango and lime, that's a leave-in. So they got leave-in conditioners and then they got their grease. They have pretty much everything for Ellie K. My friend Kay works with them and I was gonna try some of their stuff because she brought a bunch of stuff to her appointment the other day and I was intrigued, but baby, who's doing that? Mm-mm. This hair growth oil is said to have really good results. I was really into the lemongrass line when she showed it on her vlog, but baby, these prices are sending me I also been wanting to try this aloe vera line from Carol's Daughters. I need some oils though. I really, really do. If I'm not going to get it from Ellie K, it got to come from somewhere. Um, I got that blue magic grease, but I need, I need another oil. They don't have the biotin one. I really like that one. They have everyone except the biotin one. And we'll go with these. Oh. I'm so glad I came on this oil out. I'm going to still get the ones in the tube from down below, but BTL has their oils marked down, and I really like these. I tried the pink one. I'm, I'm going to try the green one. I'm trying to see what the differences are. I think I want to pay a dollar more and just up the size. Excuse the techie setup, but I'm home from Beauty Master. I'm going to show y'all what I got. Some of the stuff y'all seen in the store but some of the stuff I did not show. I got the Blue Magic Indian Hemp. Don't remember the price of this. They didn't even have it displayed. I just threw it in the cart because I wanted it. I got the Shining Gems. These are on sale for $8.99. This container is normally about 11, 12, 13 up in there. I got, um, I want to say four of these. Yes, yeah, four Shining Gems. So that's almost forty dollars right there just on that but i had to catch that deal while we're on the topic of gems and gel and because i'm just too excited to save the best for last well i don't even know if this is the best but it's something new y'all know i always got to grab something new it's called the lux collection they had something called braid lux and this of course is what you braid with it says shine, seal, conditioning, braiding, jam, and gel, and jelly. And it says it's for braids, locks, twists, ponytails, edges, natural holding, shine, and seal, and conditioning. And then it's a little, and then it's at a level six of holding strength. So I got the braid lux braid gel, and then I got the edge lux, and this is for edges. So y'all, I'm good on edge control because the braid lux, I may go through that like I go through the shining gem. A couple of those, I go through a few jars of those within a week. But as far as edge control, you only doing just the baby hairs around the perimeter or the front edges of the client's hair. Something like this will last me several weeks. Um, but I got the edge lux, it's in a purple container. It's a level seven um, holding strength. And it's a 48 hour maximum rock and lock holding, no flaking, we'll see, edge control. It says 48 hours maximum holding, no flaking. It's a peach scent, natural rice water, photi rice water is awesome for the hair. So I'm geeked to try this stuff. Both of these were two for seven. So I got both of these for $7. One of these is $8.99 and that's the sales price. They had another container. I can't remember the color of the top, but I believe it is a braid gel as well, but the hold wasn't as strong. Normally if I'm doing a style and it's like straight ends and I'm dipping the ends in hot water, where the cap to go to it? No, oh, y'all ain't sold me nothing with no cap. Um, Normally, if I'm doing box braids and I, before I dip them in hot water, I spray them with like got to be spray and just kind of go through the braids and seal them a little bit more before I dip them in that hot water. I decided to go back to Oh You Faithful and pump it up. So we're going to try that out. It was on sale for $1.99. That's why I grabbed it. The got to be the big cans were two for 14 and I got those not the last time I went to Beauty Master, but the time before that and I still have a lot left. And then y'all, I got several nail glues. It's been a minute since I did like a faux lock style, but I do have a client coming this week that wants faux lock. So I got a couple of nail glues for her. Right on top, I have blue beads. 
back to school, one of my clients booked an appointment for her daughter. And when she sent the text, she said, blue beads, please, because beads are included in my kid styles. And recently when I did her daughter's hair, she requested blue beads, but I did not have them in my stash. So she texted me and reminded me to make sure I have blue. That's her daughter's favorite color. She's six and she big on having her blue. So I got the bows and the beads specifically for her. As far as my other girls, I'm going to go to another hair store to get all of my back to school beads because Beauty Master, if you notice when I have bought beads in the past, I don't always get them from Beauty Master. Their stuff is super expensive. Those beads, I want to say, were almost $5. And then the bows were like $2.99. Ridiculous, where I can get them in another store for like a dollar. Um, but I got it just while I was thinking about it. And I also got this. This set was $5, but it comes with a lot of like um neat little braiding accessories that i haven't seen before like this clear spiral attachment i've never seen that before i thought this would be cute for a little one going back to school if they wanted to try this out so i got that but outside of these two packs i ain't buying no more beads from beauty master i got another braider band from btl this comes with the spoon that you can uh the little spatula that you can scoop the edge control out with or the shining gem out with and put it onto this these grow legs and walk i don't know where none of my other dishes are so i got a new one couple clients getting retwist i always rinse off my thing my clips and a couple of them have rusted so i needed a new container of those these were still on sale for 3.99 i'm not gonna go on and on about vigoral y'all know i love it at this point but i got four of those so $3.99 is basically $4, so 4 times 4 is $16 on mousse. That's good because some of those brands, the mousse is $16 for just one container. I was really into the Cantu Protective Style line, um, but some of the things in that line were for braid maintenance. Like if you already have a protective style in and you want to dry wash and they had a dry wash shampoo and then they had a shampoo you had to rinse out i wasn't interested in that stuff because i already have a lot of products from other brands so i just got their foam really interested in trying this from their protective style line i got the braid perfume see and then i got the braid wax or the braiding gel let's focus that in come on that's the braid and twist gel. So we got quite a few braid and gels. Y'all see me get super excited about this stuff. I ended up getting the BTL um, oil, scalp oil to oil my client's scalp. Some people respond well to grease, others like oil. So I got two of the big containers of the ones that I haven't tried before. They don't have fragrances on them, so I don't know the differences in them but I am determined to find out. So when I find out, I'll let y'all know why each one is a different color. But this orange ombre bottle is really cute to me. I got the green one, and then I got a small little pink one of one that I've had before. I got a pack of rubber bands. This is for the back to school girlies getting beads. This is the 1,000 pack, and this is also for dread retwist styling dread. And then I got a bunch of these oils before I discovered the BTL was on sale. I grabbed a few of these, but I really love the Biotin one. That's all of the new stuff. Y'all seen the stuff that I got from the Beauty Master sale last time I was in there. And so that combined with all of this stuff that I just got today is going to be added to my shelves. And I'll show y'all everything once I put it away. This is everything now that I'm back from the store. The only thing new at the top are the oils that I added gotta still find the biotint oils but we have three or four new ones in there that btl section i wasn't sure if i was going to add any btl products in here but i ended up with those three finishing oils as well as a new band so that's our btl section we now have a section for Cantu protective style stuff our vigorous section is stocked up we have about seven bottles back there edge controls are good i threw the nail glues up there all of our braiding gels, we have Shining Gem. I threw that blue magic grease. We gotta find a home for grease. I wanna start back using grease. We have our braid lux and edge lux. So our um, lux collection products and then those braiding gels that I either have used and wasn't crazy about or still haven't tried. Then at the bottom, I added my pump it up next to my got to be. And I threw those bowls in here in the bucket with my hot tools but they'll be gone within the next week or so because back to school appointments start this upcoming week. So 
that is everything i have to pre-rinse some hair for my client who's coming tomorrow she wants me to do an apple cider rinse on her hair so i'm about to do that and we're gonna close this vlog so i'm just running some hot water in my bucket i'm doing this in my tub i have all the hair in the bucket and i leave the bands on the hair so that way it keeps the hair together keeps it from tangling i have a big container a big jug of this white house brand after the bucket is full i go ahead and pour some in let me cut the water on so the bucket is full i don't know if y'all see the steam coming off the hair but it's really hot and we just go um, fill the tub it's so stanky but yeah just push the hair down in here with the apple cider it's okay if you get a few tangles it's not going anywhere it's not going to tangle too bad because it's still attached to the rubber band i let the hair soak for two hours so i'm gonna let that soak and i'll come back and show y'all all of the stuff that comes up out of the hair you're gonna see all of the chemicals that's in this hair float to the top of the water so we're gonna let it soak for a little bit it has been a three hour soak. I normally let it soak two hours. I let it soak an extra hour. And we're gonna assume that Rua's hair is already pretty chemical free. Normally, if it is saturated in chemicals, there'll be like a white film over the bucket when I'm done soaking the hair. We are gonna rinse this off and hang it up. Three hours later and the water is very clear. And then I hang the hair over my shower rod and I let it drip overnight. It is now 10 p.m. and my client's appointment is at 10 a.m. It's already almost pretty much dry, but it's going to be dry dry by morning. This is what we're working with right now. This is the next morning. I just wanted to come back the next day and show you guys how much more clean the braids come out when the hair is pre-rinsed. I hope you all enjoyed this day in the life. I love you all and see you next time.